What's up, everybody? It's Roman Gaming here. Um, today, I'm joined by three people to talk about various subjects. So, um, yeah, I'm first going to introduce those three people to you. So, um, yeah, first of all, we have Cups as M24. Hey, guys, what's going on? Uh, this is my first commentary with these people, and uh, I hope it's going to turn out well. You guys don't, haven't heard me before, so, yeah. Then second, we have IJTW. Hey, guys, what's up? Uh, my name's James. And exactly the same as Cubs. This first time I've done any commentaries or anything like this. So, also hoping it goes well. And then third, we have Uncharted Legacy video. What's up again, everyone? Nice to see you once more. Oh, it's George again. My name is George. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Anyways, we're, and I'm, of course, Robin Gaming. Um, and if you don't know, my name is Robin. Um, but, um, yeah, we're, we're going to be talking about uh, four subjects. Um, the f first, of the, first of them is actually uh, 1.13, patch 1.13, of course. Um, yeah, George is pretty much going to introduce it, and then we'll, um, you know, pitch our opinions. So go ahead, George. Okay, well, the first thing that struck me was uh, obviously all the customization and stuff. I think that is a really good move. I love the new taunts. Uh, I think the one thing, I think everything that is good about this, I have a small criticism to go with it. I think there's too many... Uh, like taunts which take too long. I don't know. I, I prefer like things like pump which go really quickly. I like those sort of taunts a bit more. But you know, they're, they're pretty awesome nonetheless. Customization is good. Uh, what do you people think about that? Oh, well, yeah, I like the taunts. I now use come at me, bro. Yes, it's a very long taunt. Me too. Oh, yeah, come at me, for bro. Yeah, it, it's a very long taunt, but uh, still worth it. Yeah, and some taunts are shorter, but. They locked all the other taunts. There were like a ton of other taunts that yeah. weren't spiders. Yeah. yeah. It's a shame you have to buy the other taunts mm, though. Yeah. But yeah, I do I what you say. Subs all set. Yeah. Well, I actually, I, I think I like the come at me taunt uh, the most of all. Yeah. Oh yeah. But, I mean, it, it makes your, your enemies rage. It does. Right? There's, yeah. uh, come on, there's nothing better than just it having an, an enemy shooting at you for like 10 seconds and then you kill him with one T-ball yeah. shot and you come at me, bro. <laughs> yeah. That will instantly leave the game. That's just amazing. Yeah, it's funny. I'm yeah. actually probably going to do a montage <laughs> called Come At Me, Bro, sort of using some <laughs> cinematics and stuff. And maybe try and record like the, the sound of them raging. That's awesome. The you, should pick your, yeah. you should have your whole team doing Come At Me, yeah. Bro, when <laughs> like, killing an oh, enemy yeah. together. Yeah, and then there's the one thing that I actually don't like about the customization. I don't like how it does like plus call out minus yeah. five percent accuracy. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah. I wasn't really a big fan of that. Like I thought it'd be better, but I'm not really a big fan of that. Yeah. Like if you played Soul Calibur Four, which is a like more Mortal Kombat pretty much. I played this game a long time ago. Um, uh, it had the same thing, like the things that you can put on your characters. Not like it's a ripoff of it, but still, it shouldn't go with Uncharted. I don't think it works. What do you actually think about the gameplay changes? Like the 30% recoil for the Gmo? That did nothing. Absolutely nothing. And it doesn't seem to. I mean, I noticed it a little bit the first time I used it, but now I've used it a bit more, and it, it doesn't seem to have affected it, really. James? Yeah, I do yeah, not go with the oh, Gmo whatsoever, wrong. so... Well, I actually think it does make a pretty big difference, to be honest. But um, I see a lot of people, you know, not using the Gmo anymore, and uh, mm -hmm. I tried it. I actually didn't like it anymore as much. Um, because that used to be like my main weapon, but yeah. I do see that you know basically it's so stupid. Like they nerfed the GMO a bit. Um, so I think it's it's totally balanced now with every weapon. Yeah. And but now it's like the the M9 rate of fire that totally you know yeah it's, it's not still... too overpowered, but it you know it brings its own its its own you know problems with it. And yeah, I think that the M9 rate of fire is now a bit overpowered. Yeah. It's really it's a shame. And you know. Yeah. Like, when, when they first released it, Spider's M9, you could just put any attachment on it. Did they intend yeah. to do they that, did. or did they change They didn't that? intend to do that. It's patched. It's right. already gone. I know they've patched it, but I, like, yeah. I wondered if they did that deliberately just to give everyone a bit of a head start or something. No, no, no. no. Oh. I don't yeah, think. I saw. I noticed that, and I was like, what's going on? And um, another thing that I noticed, the blind fire accuracy on the M9 definitely went down. Yeah. Really? Like, yeah, I did, yeah. A lot. It seemed like a lot more than 10%. It's... It, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, um, I was actually going to... Uh, I had one thing in mind. Yeah, the the legacies for and uh, fourth and fifth. God damn, it like, takes so long. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know. That. I'm only level uh 17 right now, and it's and my friend is level 30, and he's already had a million experience. I know. It it just takes so much longer. I wonder if the uh, the fifth legacy takes as much, or maybe oh, even more. Oh god, if it takes more. Oh, yeah. Well, 
the emblem that you get for Fifth Legacy is pretty awesome. Yeah. It's yeah. so cool. It's awesome. Guys, so we just uh, move on to the next subject? Yeah. Yeah. Which is uh, the labs, and Cups is going to yeah, do that. Yeah, I got the lab. I got a lot of things to talk about the lab. I saw that they put the mercenary thing in. Yeah. Uh, I don't mm -hmm. really know about that, but I haven't played the lab. I haven't played the lab since Evil Pistol Deathmatch because I didn't like RPG, because I hated it how anyone could just play, and it, they could be level one noob who sucks at the game, and yeah. they would just kill you with one shot, with yeah. a lucky shot. And it wouldn't even have to be lucky because it's RPGs. Yeah. And then they went to the plunder, which is totally different. And yeah, I didn't mind the plunder. I thought it was alright. I was just glad to be using a T-bolt again with that much ammo. But yeah. they, I, I, I wish they'd make it a permanent game mode. The first one was just so good. Yeah, it was. Because yeah. wasn't a th three-team deathmatch? Wasn't that originally a lab in Uncharted 2? I can't remember sure. that. Honestly, I never really played Uncharted 2 multiplayer because I was awful at Uncharted 2 multiplayer. <laughs> yeah. I played the story like uh, 20 times through. Yeah. Yeah. And I had my breaks for like six months, so I missed a, a lot of things in there. Anyways, yeah. but, um, uh, Cubs, what do you think like is the future of the of the labs? Do you have any ideas for Net Labs? Um, uh, well, the Block Mesh Lab looks pretty good. Yeah, ex yeah, I really exactly. Want to do that. But um, uh, I really want them to have uh, a rotating system to have like you choose the yeah. game type, like exactly. Sniper Pistol Deathmatch, and then you choose the map. Yeah. That'd be great. I see a lot of people complaining about that, that they want that as well. So, um, yeah, I think it's a good thing. Um, I'm really interested in those block mesh maps, though, because I think it's really... Um, I'm, I'm not sure what to think about it yet, because it's going to be a lot more open, I'm sure of that. And uh, But it's also like... I think it's then comparable to maps like Oasis. Yeah. Um, because they have yeah. those, you know, huge open spaces and, and, and heights and stuff. That's different. Um, but I don't really like that map. So, you know, I'm like... I'm, I'm not sure if uh, if I'm gonna like those block match maps, but it does, you know, at least it looks really cool. So yeah. um, be fun to try. I guess, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. I think they're coming uh, the 14th of August. So uh, yeah. Anyway, shall we continue to the next point, which is the tournament system, and um, James is gonna do that. Yeah. So the tournaments. Um, I haven't actually played any of the tournament things yet, but I definitely think they're gonna be a good idea because. You know, if someone's getting bored of Uncharted, they may stay to the game for another week to try and unlock that character or that gun or something yeah. like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I guess yeah. Like, there's no fundamental gameplay differences. Nope. No. But it's it still it, it feels good like if you do really well. But annoyingly, like it's it's what frustrates me. I had this game this morning where I did really well, but my team lost. Yeah. And it's like you've wasted a ticket. You could have mm. got a ton of points, but your team was shit. Yeah. Because you yeah. only get points when you win. That's yeah, like, I think that's stupid. stupid. You should get points regardless. Yeah, you well, you know, based on your score, yeah. not yeah. points on your kills and things. Yeah. Because if you've done well and you've still lost, surely that's more commendable because you've still done well in a lobby where your team was getting owned. Exactly. Yeah, you could get a ramp hand, you could be like um, uh, 25 and 0 and then your team loses. Yeah. What happens then? You lose all that. You could have gotten a ton of points. Well, you know what I hated about it? Like, I, I used my ticket, I got in the lobby, uh, the game started to load, but the spinning ring kept going, you know, and eventually it kicked me out, and I lost my ticket. Oh. So, oh, I mean... That's awful. Th yeah, if, if that happens that, yeah. to you a lot, that's just, you know, it, it sucks. And then also, like, uh, I, I used two other tickets, and I lost those matches, so they were yeah. gone as well. So I had seven tickets left, left. Um, I just, I used another one, and I did extremely well. I got, like, 26 kills. Um, yeah, basically, I got 2,600 points. And for the uh, gold tier, you actually need 18,000 points. And I was like... Is thinking, it 18 you know, or is it 8? No, nah, it was... it's, it's 18,000. Is, 18, is it bronze? Is eight. Is eight. Yeah, bronze is 8 and then gold 18. It says... Oh, gold's 18, right. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, I'll yeah, yeah. Bronze. But I was like thinking, like, you know, um, if I had... Like, if I do really well 10 matches in a row, so I go like 26 skills and I get those 2,600 points each match, I would get uh, 26,000. And that's just barely, yeah, not not really barely, but I mean, it's over 18,000, like, yeah. um, but, yeah. but only by, by 8,000, you know. And um, I was like thinking, you know, you need to do really well all the time if you want to get gold. So yeah. it's, it's really going to be hard because, like I said, you're, you're going to be losing a few matches and you're also maybe even gonna lose one or two tickets via connection errors or yeah. stuff like that. So, um, yeah, shall we just continue with the last subject? What was that? Yeah. 
the last subject was the future of Inshallah. Ah, yeah. And um, yeah, I was going to introduce that. So I don't really know, you know, talking about the future of Inshallah 3, I think it has pretty much, uh, it doesn't really have a bright future uh, ahead of Inshallah 3. Um, I, I'm not sure. I actually think this is the last patch. I don't think they're going to be um, uh, tweaking a lot of stuff for Uncharted 3. Um, maybe they might do like a slight, uh, uh, you know, gun tweak for the M9 with the rate of fire. Mm. Um, I could see that coming still, and maybe you know, add a few more skins. Um, but yeah, to be honest, I think they're done with Uncharted. They're really like, they're going to have to move on. I mean, it's nine months after Uncharted 3 released, and yeah. um, I really think that they're busy with Uncharted 4. Um, well, you know, I see a lot of people saying like, no, 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 they're doing The Last of Us, of course, but I mean, that's a totally different team. Yeah. And uh, people don't get that they are actually in two different buildings as well. So it's like, uh, you know, one team is doing The Last of Us, the other team is doing, uh, well, we don't know what they're doing. It's the Uncharted team. I guess they're doing Uncharted 4. Uh, the other options would be Jack 4, but they already said that they had trouble uh, when looking into that and they were like, no, we can't bring that back. We're not going to do it no. uh, any good service. Um, and then you may have a new IP, but to be honest, like I, I expect the PlayStation 4 to be announced next year at E3, so that's in like exactly one year. And um, yeah, I mean that they're, they're gonna have some killer uh, launch titles. And um, that's yeah, I mean, one. what's a better launch title than a Yeah, seriously. Yeah, everyone yeah. wants to instantly buy that game. So I, I think like the Uncharted team is like you know they're just totally focusing now on Uncharted. To, uh, four. I hope I they do though. Think... That's good. I think because now they can take what they've learned. We didn't like about this exactly. one, and they fixed it. They can yeah. take that over. <laughs> well, I get. Yeah. Like... Oh. yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I was saying because for Uncharted Four, I wasn't really positive. After I beat the Uncharted Three campaign, uh, I wasn't sure if they were gonna make an Uncharted Four just based on how the story ended. Yes. Yeah. And I was like, if they're gonna make an Uncharted Four, obviously you have to have a story. You can't have the multiplayer right away. Everybody's just looking right now. What the multiplayer would be like, but they gotta think what is gonna be the story, yeah. and yeah. that's what I'm looking for right now. Like, what could they go on from there? Mm. Like, when you beat Uncharted One, like when I beat Uncharted, I beat I went Uncharted Two, One, Three, and when I beat, if I got Uncharted One first, yeah. I was to probably if I beat that game, I was probably thinking there wouldn't be an Uncharted Two, yeah. which is what was going through my mind. So I'm thinking that there might be an Uncharted Four. There's still. I hope there is. Sure. I also, I gotta say, like, uh, Uncharted 2, it was really, like, a huge step uh, from Uncharted 1. It was, and, incredibly yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, and I think you agree with me that Uncharted 3 just wasn't that step. It wasn't, no. The, and, I mean, it was, the, there were some incredibly cinematic, like, ridiculously over-the-top moments. Yeah. But yeah. it's just, it wasn't the same. I think, maybe the story was nowhere close to as good as Uncharted no, 2. No, I just exactly. wasn't. I think, because I think uh, Lazarevich was just awesome. H him and Flynn were so yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, they need to bring those back. Yeah. <laughs> like, story was amazing. Gameplay, everything. That was a great game. Yeah. I'd heard that Eddie Roger might be coming back. Yeah, well. Yeah. As it you, know, you know what I think? I'd say that for Uncharted 4, they're going to do flashbacks. And it's all going to be based on history between all characters. Because Drake already knew Chloe um, before Uncharted and 2. Drago already knew Cutter, Drago already knew Flynn, yeah. you, know, you already yeah. knew Eddie Raja. Well, we know from some kind of comic. Have you seen that, Aya Vendra? That you know actually sounds, that sounds pretty, that sounds like it would happen. Mm -hmm. I think that could be, yeah. Yeah, but that would be a good idea. Have you actually seen Eye of Indra? Do you know what I'm talking about? Eye of what, sorry? Eye of Indra. No. No, you no, don't. No, you should be that. watching that, because it actually, it's like a prequel to Uncharted. It's a... Uh, well, you can find it on YouTube. It's basically some kind of uh, uh, comic, but it's like a uh, cinematic comic. Or I, I don't know how to describe that, but it gives you a background story with uh, Rika Raja. You know that skin from Uncharted yes, 2, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. Raja. Uh, she's basically the sister of Eddie Raja. It gives some yeah. nice, uh, uh, you know, history between those characters. But I say, I'd say that uh, Uncharted 4 is going to be based on flashbacks, but still with some kind of story wrapped around it. That all you yeah. know leads to one point, and then hopefully Uncharted Four is going to be ending with some kind of cliffhanger for once, and then you know Uncharted Five because I think that Uncharted is going to have five games in total, and I'd say that Uncharted Five then you know uh, starts, uh, you know that's going to be uh, released like three years after or something, yeah. and then that's going to be like the same step from Uncharted One to Uncharted Two again, so. um, and then yeah. you know they're going to end it with a bang, so uh, yeah. I, I could really you know see that coming, and um, yeah, well. I mean, we'll have to wait and see, and uh, I, I do hope that Uncharted still got a bright uh, future ahead of yeah. ahead of yeah. us. Yeah. So, um, I have one more thing to say, just that I've noticed that all the Uncharted's have come out two years in between. 
There yeah. was 07, 09, and now 11, and probably 13, you know? Hopefully, yeah. Well, Hopefully. you know what the problem was with Uncharted 3, like, uh, being worse, while they actually still uh, took two years? I mean, the problem was just that they uh, started with The Last of Us immediately after Uncharted 2, so they, you know, just split the team, so they basically had half the team working on Uncharted 3, but for the same amount of years. So, yeah. you know, you can't just improve a lot when you mm. do that. Exactly, yeah. But, um, yeah, I think um, that's pretty much the ending of this so commentary. Um, yeah, I think we pretty much, um, ex uh, you know, discussed our opinions and we did it well. So, um, yeah, I want to thank you a lot for, uh, for watching, everyone. And I want to thank uh, you three guys for uh, taking part in this quad commentary. Yep. And, um, Thank you for letting yeah. us be here again. Thanks. Nice to meet everyone again. I didn't set yeah. it up, though, George, and you know that. But uh, <laughs> um, yeah, be sure. I mean, there's buttons over the whole place there, annotations. Be sure to subscribe to Cubs is on 24, IJTW, and show out that legacy video, hopefully to me as well. And um, yeah. yeah, we hope to see you on our channels for our next video. So thanks for watching, everyone. Peace and love. Yep. See you guys. Bye. Thank you. Thanks, Bye. Cubs. Thanks, James. Thanks, Robert. No problem. <laughs> thanks, everyone. See you guys. Bye-bye.